welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be talking about all the tattoos that i got in 2018 um i've got 12 tattoos done in 2018 and yeah i'm just gonna show you all of them so on the 20th of january i had two tattoos done one of them was the butterfly that i have on my shin um i can't really lift my leg up Oh, you can see it a bit this butterfly here um i got that done on my right leg on my right shin um along with the cancer ribbon which is uh, here um so i had those two done on the same day um by the same tattoo artist at the same shop um and yeah they didn't really hurt that much i that's my first tattoo that i had no, it wasn't the first tattoo I had on my shin, actually. Um, I had one done the Christmas before. Uh, 2017 Christmas, basically. Um, so that was my second tattoo that I had on my shin. Um, weirdly, the shin didn't hurt for me. Bones don't really tend to hurt for me. It's more like the muscly areas that hurt. Um, so yeah, I had those two done on the 20th of January 2018. I then went to Great Yarmouth, which is a two hour drive from where I live. And I had two tattoos done on that day as well. Um, I had this ornamental piece on my arm. That took about three hours to do. And I also had this little unalone. Um, that was probably the worst tattoo pain that I've ever experienced and I do not wish to do that again. Um, if I had another in between the boob bit, I wouldn't do it. Not quite sure I would get any on my chest because that did really hurt and it felt like someone was literally stabbing me. Um, so yeah, I had those two done on the 3rd of February. Um, this one... Uh, it didn't really hurt again like it's kind of on the bony bit um my hand was really really swollen like, i had no knuckles the next day um but obviously that's three hours work um yeah i just i like pretty patterns like this so i will probably get more of these patterns so yeah that's those two done on that day as well on the 24th of february i went up to the brighton tattoo convention and I had a two day ticket. So I had one done on the Saturday, which is this um, <laughs> mandala pattern thing. Um, that took maybe an hour, just under an hour um, to do that. And that was by, his name was Hoshmu. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, I can't remember what shop he works at. Um, somewhere in London he works and then the next day I had this flower tattoo done on my wrist by Ellis Arch um, again I can't remember what shop she works at I think it's somewhere up, like up north uh, I think and yeah obviously that didn't really take that long to do that um, but yeah that was one added on my arm because i do want this arm to be like all flowers except from this shell at the back that's obviously not a flower but um yeah i do want like a flower sleeve on my arm so i had that one done as well on the sunday so the 25th of february then on the 25th of march i went back to my tattoo shop um it's the one that i always go to um it's called no more rules and they're in letworth and he, he done stitch tattoo for me on my leg um i can't really show you that not really only a little bit so this stitch tattoo here and then the writing says ohana and ohana means family that mean, means nobody ever find or forgotten um on my leg so yeah black and gray stitch that he done i will put photos in um so you can see it at a better angle um so yeah i had that one done again that didn't really hurt um, like I said in the video before, I think I've done a video on my stitch tattoo. I did use Dermalize, 
for the first time uh, which is this here which is like a tattoo film that you put on your tattoos um, and it didn't go well for me because um, the hair on my leg wasn't growing back like it was stopping the hair from growing back so I ended up with like a I wasn't even a rash, I don't know what it was, um, I don't know, but I had to get some antibiotic cream from doctors to get it to go down. Um, and then I had to have stitch touched up, which I think was like June time. So yeah, the stitch one was the next one I had done. On the 17th of March, um, I went to the Tattoo Collective, which is another tattoo convention for British and Irish uh, tattoo artists. And I had a little snowflake done. No, it's not that leg. Where is it? Oh, it's there. Let's forget where my tattoos are. Um, snowflake here. And that was by the Love Hate Tattoo uh, Shop. Um, I had that done by Guy Neutron, which he's done tattoo on me before. Um, and he actually like remembered me, I think. Um, so yeah, I had that one done on the 17th of March. On the 19th of May, I then went to a tattoo shop in Dunstable, um, which is not that far from me. And I had these flowers tattoos done by Tibbles, that works there. And she also done the dots on my fingers, which um, I said that I would keep you guys updated with them. Um, they have faded a little bit, um, but I knew that was going to happen. Um, so finger tattoos do... But I just, I don't know, I wanted finger tattoos done, so I got them done. And, yeah, they were painful. They were the, probably not as painful as here, but they were painful. Like, hair. But also, it didn't last long because they're just dots. So, it's a plus side to it. <laughs> then, on the 26th of May, I then went to the Great British, Great British Tattoo Show, which was at Alexandra Palace in London and I had this lipstick on my leg done here um, and that was by, hold on, someone called Rob Howard and his shop is also in London um, so yeah I had uh, black and grey lipstick done I always wanted a lipstick on me because I like makeup and I do want to get like another more makeup tattoos done like the brushes like compact mirror thing um so i am looking to have that done as well um yeah i got it done didn't really hurt that much so yeah and then i went a whole seven months without having a tattoo done um i did have one booked in like i think it was june or just after that um but i needed um more time to save up like money wise um because i was going on holiday that year um so i changed it to christmas eve and i had it done obviously on the 24th of december 2018 and it was um another disney tattoo done and it was at the no moral shop in netchworth um he's like good at, tat um, good at tattoos like he does disney tattoos um so I go for him for my Disney tattoos, uh, which is on my thigh. I haven't actually even put it on like social media yet because it was it's still at the healing um, stage. When I had it done, it was swollen. Um, I don't know if it would take like two and a half hours or just over two and a half hours to do. Um, it's it's coloured, um, and yeah, it was swollen, and then. Um, then it came to like the the, heal, like the healing stage where it was flaky and scabby so I didn't really want to put a photo up of that so I've not actually put it up on my like Instagram or Facebook yet um, so yeah this is the first time that I'm going to be showing people my tattoo and it's Timon and Pumbaa from The Lion King one of my favourite Disney films is The Lion King um, I've already got Simba on my leg with a quote and I just wanted Timon and Pumbaa in there as well so yeah I'm going to show you that or try to if I can get up um so I'll probably take this off actually so it's my Simba tattoo and then I had 
Ooh, where are you? Timon and Pumba. It's a bit hard because it wraps around the leg. But um, yeah, it's my Timon and Pumba tattoo, which I love. And it's it's pretty much healed. Um, just keep still putting cream on it. So yeah, that will. Um, yeah, I don't um, don't like money touching up. I'm not sure, but um, I have to see. So that was my tattoos that I had done in 2018. I will do another one at the end of 2019 all the tattoos that I had done because I am planning on getting tattoos this year um, I just need like, my holiday out of the way first um, and then obviously saving up I do want to have a, a, a big tattoo done on my bum and my back but obviously that's going to be a lot of money um, but that is one of the tattoos that I really do want done um, so yeah if I do get it done then obviously I'll film about it talk about it and yeah I'll keep you updated with my tattoos because I like tattoos and I am definitely going to get some more done I'm going to the Brighton Tattoo Convention in February um yeah see if I get one done there I probably will end up getting one done hoping that there will be flower ones done so I can add to my flower sleeve um or just any pretty ones that I like um so yeah I'll keep you updated but that was my video about my tattoos that I got done in 2018 hope you liked it if you did then give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon bye